latest pictures from the Russian front include this captured German film showing the retreat to the Crimea. German and Romanian troops, having been decisively defeated in the Caucasian campaign, are seen evacuating from the Taman Peninsula. Their task is to get men and material across the Kerch Straits and into the Crimea. Of course, their scorched earth policy includes the systematic destruction of the railway leading to the Straits. Ship after ship left to cross the Narrows, and while Russian airmen went for them, the German flak batteries were in constant action. German and Romanian retaliated by dive bombing. The ravine of death, an anti-tank ditch where thousands of civilians were shot. On the outskirts of Taganrog, a city on the northern shore of the Sea of Azov. Hardly surprising that the Russians have already initiated the trial of criminals in Hitler's army responsible for such sadistic outrages. In the liberated Donbass area, there was a grim panorama of destruction. Destruction not only from shell and bomb, but also from the dynamite of the retreating Germans. The Donetsk Basin, the most important mining and industrial district in Russia, was virtually devastated. But once liberated, the Soviet people, undeterred by the colossal size of the task, immediately set about its restoration. The workers were as determined to repair, rebuild and reopen factory and mine as the Red Army was intent on driving the enemy out. Death to the fascist invader, Stalin's order of the day, was the Red Army's objective. Town after town has been freed and reoccupied. Taganrog, Mariupol, Artemovsk, Stalino and hundreds more besides. The pictures that follow show the reoccupation of some of these and the natural rejoicing. As a tribute to Soviet heroism, Movie tone exclusively and for the first time in a newsreel accompanies these triumphant pictures with the impressive music of the Soviet's new national anthem. Another milestone of 